Wah. Grr. Wah. I am so angry right now, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, I could break some faces in now. Why am I so angry? You can probably hear it in my very stern voice. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Americans, the Californians, the worst of the worst. It's literally like the worst side to be on ever. You can't tell me it isn't now. Let's get one thing straight. There's only one thing I prefer than big boobies and bloody chicken nuggets. And I'll tell you what that is. And that's Swedes. Now, California is one of the first states to, one of the first places to have banned an additive, addi addi additive potassium bromate, which says people can cause cancer, which I think is just fake news, bro. It's fake news. It's utter dog shit. Now, this is things like Skittles, sweets are going to be affected. I'm not really sick. I'm starting to stress out. I'm starting to worry. I love sweeties. Yes, now the state law won't take effect until 2027. Yeah. So we have like four years to stockpile sweets. I'm going to start now. I'm going to have like a little black market as well. I'm going to sell them on the side. So if people actually want any, I'll give you my secret WhatsApp number or something like that. You can drop me a text. I'll get him fucking delivered to you by pigeons. Tips are reported to cause things like memory loss and hyperactivity in children. Fake news. news. It just made no sense to us that kids in America were getting, and in California, were getting significantly less protection from these chemicals than kids in other countries around the world. With the passage of the California Food Safety Act, change is blowing through the food industry in California. Banned are red dye number three, potassium bromate, brominated vegetable oil, and propyl paraben. See, what a load of nonsense. They just throw loads of long words at you so you don't know what you're talking to make you feel small. I like sweeties. I want these sweeties and people are banning them and it's really, really, really annoying me. How can someone tell me what to eat? If I want to eat a red Skittle, I'm going to eat a goddamn red Skittle. If I want to eat a red fucking swishy swirly thing with loads of sugar in it, I'm going to eat a bloody swishy swirly thing with loads of sugar in it. It's a disgrace. What is this fat man over in California? You know what I mean? It's not exactly the pinnacle of health either. His cheeks are a bit chunky. I didn't see his bottom half, but I can just tell, right? I've got a sense for this i can smell it chunky monkey fucking ready to punky man it's not his call how can you tell me what i can and can't eat bro i want to eat this piece of paper <laughs> it might not taste good but i can do it oh who the fuck eats chicken noodles like soup and shit mm, sweeties oh fuck he actually is in quite good shape oh look at that oh my god oh change for companies to make in fact some american companies have voluntarily changed the chemicals on their own if coca-cola can do it and gatorade can do it and papa john's can do it and dunkin donut can do it and they're still selling plenty of pizzas and plenty of soda and plenty of donuts we have confidence that all these other companies can do it as well parents we saw out grocery shopping today seem to agree they want their children to be healthy and felt the change was minor how dare my parents want me to be healthy? This is just joke. It's not your decision, mum. If I want the red skills that give me cancer, let me have the fucking red skills to give me cancer. Look, I know we have loads of like health and safety shit and stuff like that, or whatever this and that other, and there's like wars going on and Ukraine's under fire and Israel's got its feet stuck under. But this is much more serious, all right? I want to fight this. If you agree with me, we are taking this to war. We are taking our guns. We are taking our shooters. We are going to fight this with violence. They cannot tell me I can't eat a red Skittle or a red fucking swirly thing. It's a disgrace. It's an absolute joke. I hate my life. My life is... My whole computer just shut down. That's how much this shit means to me. It just exploded. It imploded on my computer. But can you believe this dog shit? It's utter muck. I can't believe... <laughs> we gotta look after people. We gotta look after their... Can't it? Me, me, me. Bro, people are getting blown up in like seven different countries right now. There is much more serious shit than what colour my skittles are, alright? This is a foot and joke, man. And I am, I am willing to die for this cause. I will give my life for this i'm gonna become an assassin's creed brother train for years become a monk and like you know meditate and like kickbox and shit like that become batman 2.0 get some rich parents have them get killed not my fault by the way and then we're taking this we're gonna get tanks we're gonna get guns bazookas choppers 
everything you can think of because this will not happen on my watch boys i am sick of people telling me what to do if i want the red skills i want the red skills man it's not for you to tell me oh, california such a progressive place fucking not mate i've played gta i know what it's like it's like i've lived there for so many years all right i know what it's like there's beaches there's a fucking ferris wheel somewhere you can go fucking skydiving there's mount chiliad there's like gun shops everywhere there's places you can do heists the police aren't very clever. You know, I know what it's about, man. I know what it's about. And these fucking tarts are telling me what I can eat. But seriously, I think this is actually just only in America. I think I don't even have these in my country. You see, the problem with America is they have so much shit. Did you know in McDonald's chips in America, there are like 16 or 17 ingredients. In the UK, there is three chips salt and like oil what the fuck is in the other like 12 ingredients what else do you need in a chip what else do you need it's impossible it doesn't make any sense and i know i'm rambling now but americans have been like known for their ill health and i'm not being racist because americans are a race apparently it's not racism all right it's not just like the british love a cup of tea or a fucking digestive biscuit the americans love a fucking juicy burger you know what i mean you know what i mean but i'm saying Seriously, I meant what I meant before. I'm taking this. I'm taking this to the fight. I'm going to use violence. I'm going to use violence and I choose violence. Guns, fucking fists, fucking Kung Fu pandas coming out because I'm not having this shit. Not on my watch, boys. I will stand with you. I know there's a lot of wars going on and that's all good too, but this is, this is up there in terms of importance. They will not change our food. They will not influence what we are like. I will not allow it. But seriously, guys, I want you guys to leave me a comment, an actual, you know, thing in the comment section. How how are we going to take this to them? Because it's a joke. It's an absolute joke, man. And I'm not having it. Not having it. Um, I'm not having it. And I will use violence, okay? Seriously, though, thank you very much for watching this. I'm not even sure what I'm on about anymore. This is just a rant. I'm sick of people changing my food. I remember I used to love a LucasAid, you know, like orange drinks. Mmm, so good. So much sugar. Guess what they did? They got rid of all the sugar, and now it tastes like dog muck. Jamie Oliver, you prick, I blame you. It's so bad and so annoying. I used to love, love a Lucasade, and now it doesn't taste the same. Anyway, whatever. I'm off to go fucking shoot someone.